living the time we are living at the moment, I would like to ask how have you been doing during the pandemic as an artist? Um, I mean, it's been lots of ups and downs. Uh, two years ago, we could play a bunch of shows during the couple of lockdowns that were in Norway. Uh, but um, in this year, 2022, since we are still in lockdown, um, there has been some restrictions. And during those restrictions, so, you know, you cannot really do much. So, um we still have some shows that we booked and we hope that we can play in the next couple of months. We have a tour in April. And um, so, yeah, we are like uh, just uh, keeping our fingers crossed to see that where it goes, but uh, mostly just uh, practicing and writing, writing music and stay creative. We are of course here talking about the brand new album, uh, Revenge at all costs that uh, comes out today, actually. Well, it's been uh, seven years since your last full length in pursuit of dreams. A lot has happened, of course, in between, but how is it to finally uh, be able to put out a new album? I mean, it's an amazing feeling, especially an album like this with that background. It's like a huge way off of my shoulders. It's. It's, I'm still trying to get used to this fact that we could release this album finally. As I think we fought with the whole world to be able to release this. I mean, it's just, uh, it's, uh, it's indescribable. But uh, I mean, it's just an amazing feeling. That's why I can say to be able to finally share, share this with the world and tell my story and, uh, approve those people who wanted to hold us back wrong. It, it is very important. It, it, it was the whole spirit behind the whole album. And as the title goes, Revenge at All Costs, it's a great feeling that you feel that you could take your revenge, right? Talking about the background of the album, could you tell me a bit about the writing process of the songs? Sure. Um, the, uh, the whole album was... Uh, Beside one of the songs was written behind uh, between the time that I was bailed out uh, in jail and at the time I was still in Iran. Um, the songs were this was written between 2000, late 2016 to late 2018. And then I came to Norway in the, at the beginning of 2019. I also added another song. Uh, Megalodon to the album that we used it later. Um, the whole vibe of the album came out uh, from the time that I that and the condition that I was living at with the whole stress of the lawsuit and everything. So I guess it it um, it added that pure and raw emotion to the album. The lyrics was written when I was living in Turkey after I left Iran. In the beginning, I left uh, Iran to Turkey and I lived there for a year and a half. And during that time, I started to recording demos and writing the lyrics. So it, so it also in the lyrics, it's it's all about the situation that I was living at and and, and all those emotions, negative, positive, everything together. So um, it's an album that is a storytelling album. And uh, I think this is one of the reasons that it has been received very well by people because, because art and music is emotion. And, and by listening to it, you can feel those frustrations that uh, I had those days and the stuff that I, that I had to deal with to be able to get to this point. So um, it, uh, and I consider myself lucky to be an artist and have that kind of a healthy outlet to be able to let all those emotions out. And I'm happy that we finally could, could share this with people. When and where did you uh, finally rec record these songs and how was it to uh, record these uh, meaningful songs? It's, it wasn't a very easy process either because, uh, uh, as I told you, I started recording demos when I was living in Turkey. But when I moved to Norway, when I met some friends, uh, one of those friends was uh, Erling Mount, the, the dude who produced the album. 
uh, he was like, this album has a very good potential. Sound-wise, we can improve that. So let's re-record the album. I was like, are we really going to do this? Because we, we actually finished the album in 2019 and in lockdowns, we were like, we should postpone releasing this. And he was like, since you're waiting, let's, let's work on guitars and also record the drum with, 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 the, with, with a new drummer, Roger. So he kind of convinced me to, to do this. And I'm very happy that I took that, that path because we basically uh, we recorded everything beside of the vocals um, at that point. So, um, yeah, I mean, lot, as I said at the beginning, with this band, there always has been lots of ups and downs and it, it nothing came normal to us. So we had to kind of figure out what we're going to do with this situation, always fighting with with another element that was in front of us. It was the main point. And I think all of that added into the album because it's an angry album. It's an album that is, is about prevailing. It's an album about fighting against something bigger than you and, uh, and don't let the doubt kind of um, overcome you and, 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 and just believing in yourself and just be patient. So... Uh, yeah, I guess this is this is what this album is basically about, and this is what um, people can uh, get from this. Yeah, as you said, there's been uh, challenges in uh, releasing the album too, and as I understand, it has been postponed, and then you did some more recordings. Uh, how are you finding the experience to uh, release? new music at this time like you said you can only hope that the uh, next couple of gigs happen and everything is so uncertain so how is the experience of releasing new music at the moment feel free i feel free man i mean there's i, I don't want to make it too uh, dramatic or like uh playing with words but i feel like i'm free now i feel like you know, it's like something that you had to say for a long time, finally said, and you have that like kind of a, you know, relief. And um, and actually last night I was talking to my bandmate, Arash. I was like, man, we did it. We finally fucking did it. It's, yeah, we released two single tracks. We released a couple of single tracks during the years, but it wasn't the album. It, it wasn't the moment that, that, I mean, that I'm holding the like the physical format of the album, my hands, it's and it's like I'm holding my baby. And uh, it's just amazing. I feel free. I feel like and, and I'm so excited for the future of the band because we have big plans and and for example, um and everyone receiving lots of great reviews from magazines and websites. And for example, Metal Hammer called the album one of the top 50 albums of the year. And it's just all dreams come true. And, and, and I can see the result of all those blood tears that we put into this. And it's just an amazing feeling. I feel free. 